Hey guys, today I'm going to be reading the chapter of the one and only, only Ibis. And let's get started. The one and only Ibis. For Julia. It is never too late to be what you might have been. I am Ivan. Hello. I am a gorilla. It is not as easy as it looks. People call me the freeway gorilla. The ape at exit 8. The one and only Ivan. Mighty silver back. The names are mine, but they're not me. I am Ivan, just Ivan, only me. Humans waste words. They toss them like banana peels and leave them to rot. Everyone knows the pills are the best part. I suppose you think gorillas can't understand you. Of course, you also probably think we can't walk upright. Try knuckle walking for an hour. You tell me which way is more fun. I've learned to understand human words over the years, but understanding human speech is not the same as understanding humans. Humans speak too much. They chatter like ch chimps crowd crowding the world with their nose even when they have nothing to say. It, it took me some time to recognize all those human sounds to weave words into things, but I was patient. Patient is useful, is a useful way to be when you, you're an ape. Gorillas are patient and stones, humans not so much. I used to be a wild gorilla and I still look the part. I have a gorilla's shy gaze, a gorilla's sly smile. I wear a snowy sandal of fur, the uniform of the uniform of a silver back. When the sun warms my back, I cast a gorilla mad majestic shadow. In my in my size, humans see a test of themselves. They hear fighting words on the wind when all I'm thinking is how the late day sun, sun reminds me of a ripe net, nectarian. I'm mightier than any human. 400 pounds of pure power. My body looks made for battles. My arms outstretch, span taller than the tallest human. My family tree spreads wide as, as well. I am great ape, and you are a great ape, and so are chimpanzees and orange mutants and bonobos. All of us distant and distraughtful cousins. I know this is trouble troubling. I to I too find it hard to believe there is a connection across time and space linking me to a race of ill mannered clowns. Chips there no excuse for me. The exit eight big top mall and video are sorry. I live in a human habitat called the Exit Eight Big Top Mall and Video Pit. We are convent 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 
and totally located off 195 I-95 with shows at 2, 4, and 7, 365 days a year. Max says that when he answers the trillion telephone, Mac works. Mac works here at the mall. He is the boss. I work here too. I am a girl at the big top mall. A cr creaky music car so spins all day. And monkeys and parrots live at am in the merchants. In the middle of the mall, is a ring with benches where humans can sit on on their rumps while they live soft pretzels. The floor is covered with sawdust made of dead trees. Many the maid is at one end of the ring. I live here because I am too much gorilla and need and not enough human. Stella's de de man is next to mine. Stella is an elephant. She and Bob, who is a dog, are my dearest friends. A present, I don't do not have any gorilla friends. My domain is made of thick glass and rusty metal and raw cement. Stella's domain is made of metal bars. The sun bears the main is wood. The pears is wire mesh. mesh. Three of my walls are glass. One of them is cracked, and a small piece, and a small piece about the side of my hand is missing from the bottom corner. I made the hole. The hole was a baseball bat Mac gave me for my sixth birthday. After that, he took the bat away, but he let me keep the baseball that came with it. A jungle scene is painted on one of my domain walls. It has a wonderful without water and flowers without plants and trees without roots. I didn't paint it, but I enjoy the way the shapes flow across my wall. Even if it isn't much of a jungle, I am lucky my name has three widow needles. I can see the whole mall and a bit of the world beyond. The frantic pinball machines, the pink billows of cotton candy, the vast of tr treeless parking lot, the yum, the lot is a freeway where cars st stamp without end. A giant sign at its edge becomes them to stop and rest like gazelles at the water hole, the watering hole. The sign is faded, the color is blended, but I know what it says. Mac read it words aloud one day. Come to the exit 8, Big Top Mall, a video or two of the one and only Ivan, the mighty silverback. Sadly, I cannot read all the I wish I could. Reading stories would it make a fine way to fill my empty hours. Once, however, I was able to enjoy a book left in my domain by one of my keepers. I tasted it. It tasted like hermit. The freeway billboard has a drawing of Mac in his clown cloak. 
clothes and Stella on her on her hind leg and an angry animal with fierce eyes and unkept hair. That animal is supposed to be me, but the artist made a mistake. I am never angry. Silverback uses anger to maintain order and warn his troop of danger. When my father beat his chest, it was to, to say, Beware, listen, I am in charge. I am angry to protect us because that is what I was born to do. Here in my domain, there, there is no one to protect. The little, the littlest big top on earth. My neighbors here at the big top mall know many tricks. They are an educated lot more uh, accomplished than, than I am. One of my neighbors plays baseball, although she is a chicken. Another drives a fire truck, although he is a rabbit. I used to have a neighbor, a sleek and thoughtful seal, who could balance a ball on, on her nose from dawn till dusk, dusk. Her voice was like the, the throaty bark of a dog, chained outside on a cold night. Children whisked on, on pennies and tossed them into the, her plastic pool. They, they glue to the bottom like flat cooper, cooper, copper spoons. The seal was hungry one day, or bored perhaps, so she ate 100 pennies. Mac said she'd be fine. He was mistaken. Mac caused our show the littlest big top mall top on the earth. Every day at two, four, and seven, humans fans themselves drink sodas of pod. Babies wail. Mac dressed like a clown. Pebbles a tiny bike. A dog named Snickers rides on Stella's back. Stella sits on a stool. It is a very sturdy stool. I I don't do any tricks. Mac says it's enough for me to be me. Stella told me that some circuses move from town to town. They they have humans who dangle on ropes to toying from the tops of tents. They have grumbling lions with gleaming teeth and a seething line of elephants, each crunching the limp tail in front of her. The elephants look far off into the distance, so they won't see the humans who, who want to see them. Our circus doesn't migrate. We sit where, where we are like in old days, too tired to push on. After our show, humans pour through the stores. A store is where humans buy things they need to survive. At the Big Top Mall, some stores sell new things like balloons and t-shirts and caps to cover the gleaming head of humans. Stores, some stores sell old things that smell dusty and damp and long forgotten. All day, I was, I watched humans scurry from store to store. They passed their green paper and 
dry as a leaf and smelling of a thousand hands back and forth.